Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dirtbag and Groundchuck from the folks over at NECA Toys. That is right, my friends. We're going to continue on with looking at some of the brand new sets that just hit. This is one of the sets that NECA kind of surprised us with and put up for sale on their website. It's also showing up at Target stores right now. Just got my order in the mail, so let's dive right in and take a look at them. As you can see, Ground Chuck and Dirtbag both come in the same style window box packaging we've seen throughout the line, kind of with that turtle van motif. We got some new artwork on the front of the two characters, window box fully showcasing the figures and their accessories within. And as we rotate this around to the backside, we've got some great images of the figures within, as well as a cross cell down here at the bottom showing some of the other recent figures in the lineup. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these guys pulled out of this box and get a closer look at them. All right, here we go. We've got our ground chuck and our dirt bag outside of the box so we can take a closer look at them. Uh, like all the figures in this line, these are inspired by their appearance in the animated series. However, these are more characters that translated almost one-to-one -one from their action figures to their TV appearance. It's very, very similar. I gotta say, these dudes are also extremely photogenic. Holy cow, I mean... I'm really shocked at how good these guys look on camera right now. So we'll get into the details here. Let's go ahead and start with the scale. Uh, if I bring in the tape measure here, you can see Ground Chuck is just a little over six inches tall. Um, Dirt Bag is about the same. He's like right at six inches tall. Uh, both of them are very chunky though. You can see they are bigger dudes. So of course they do look bulkier compared to the guys like the turtles there. Um, you know, nice big old villains that could really do some damage in battle. So Really, really nice looking figures overall. Um, I wanna go ahead and we'll just set Dirtbag off to the side. Let's go ahead and focus first on Ground Chuck's look. All the colors are very bright and vibrant on this guy. Again, kind of following the styling we've seen with all these figures where there's some heavy black outlining on all of the details to kind of give them that more animated or cell shaded look. Uh, but I will say that all of the details on this guy are really, really nice. You can see we've also got like that shading effect on the back, which is supposed to add to the animated look. Uh, but there's a lot going on here. I mean, look at all the colors on this guy. Uh, I love that he's got like this foot tattoo over here on his bicep he's got like the bullhorn belt on he's got the bullseye target on his chest and his knee pad we've got like the part cybernetic pieces there he's got like the cyborg leg and the eye attachment up there with his green hair sticking out underneath for the most part the paint deco looks nice and clean there's a little bit of red bleeding up on the hair up there i don't know if you can really see it um, but it's pretty good otherwise this guy looks really really nice all the way around so very solid looking figure and i love the detailing like all the fur and the sculpt there i don't know the, he almost seems like he's far more detailed than a lot of the figures we've got in this line because typically these are very smooth and everything to give us that more basic look from the animated series and this guy just feels like he's got all kinds of sculpted details so he definitely stands out among the crowd Articulation is as follows. You can see that that head, uh, it does look like it's ball jointed in there, but it can kind of look left and right. It does look like the mouth also opens, which kind of reveals these big old cow teeth. I love it, these bull teeth there. Uh, you can see that the little shoulder pad flips upwards, so that shouldn't get in the way of the articulation too much. Although I just totally popped it off. Looks like it came unglued, so... Yeah, it actually just plugs right back on there. I'm going to have to take a little bit of glue to that. So that's definitely something to watch out for. You can see like the dried glue in there. So I don't know if mine just wasn't glued on all the way or if it does pop off that easy. This is a softer pliable plastic. So it is something you're going to want to keep an eye on. So I'm going to have to glue that back together now. Let's just move it off for the time being. Um, that way I can show you guys. You do have the swivel at the bicep there. Uh, you got double joints at the elbows. All the joints are very, very tight on this guy. I did just pop his hand out of socket, but it's the peg joints that we've seen on all the other figures so far. So you can see pretty easy to remove the hand there, but it also has a hinge joint as well. Uh, you can see the torso turns there and the joint is under his like ripped shirt, you know, showing off those abs. I love it, <laughs> but good range of motion there. Uh, you can see the ball joints at the thighs. I will say that those are a little loose on this figure. Um, it's not super dangly at least, but they just move 
pretty loosely, and I wish that worked a little bit better. Um, the other thing that I do want to point out, and this is a common problem I have with these, they, they use almost like this chalky paint for this flat look to kind of give off the animated appearance. When you have lighter colors like the white here, the paint rub is really bad. There is some red and blue uh, from the loincloth like rubbing off onto the white of his leg. I don't know if you can see it there. It might be light enough that it's not really coming through, but it is definitely rubbing off on the white of his leg. Okay, so back to the articulation. Ball joints at the thighs there. You got swivel at the thigh cut as well. You do have double joints in the knees. They are very, very tight joints with the knee pads right there in the middle of the joint. Uh, and then the ankles, we got these like crazy hoof feet, of course. Uh, but you do still have the normal ankle joint as well as a bit of a side-to-side -side rock. Now, since they are round feet, round hooves, uh, you do kind of have to find the right way to balance him. But he does stand pretty well. So, actually, I think the articulation is really good on this guy maybe a little loose at the hip joints but otherwise you should be able to pose this guy around pretty well just gotta get this dang shoulder pad fixed now all right so ground check does come with interchangeable hands and i showed you how those hands can pop off there boy he's got these spikes on the back and they're a bit pointy when you're pulling those hands off but you can easily swap these out for gripping hands or open hands so you've got two closed fists two open hands two gripping hands uh, so we can just kind of do this to easily change up his look. And of course, those gripping hands are going to go well for his accessories. Now, we got a couple different things here. First of all, uh, I believe this is actually an accessory for Donatello. Uh, it's like some sort of little decoder device of some sort. But you can uh, get it to fit in the hands of either of the figures in this particular box set, if that is something that you want to do. But also, uh, Ground Truck does come with his own signature blaster, which has got the bull horns on the front. I Man, I love it. You just got to make that, that give them the horns joke, right? It's like right there. It is right there. Uh, but the gripping hand actually works really good on there. And the trigger finger actually goes through the trigger spot there. Um, so really, really fun figure. I just love this guy overall. All right, so that's going to bring us over here to Dirtbag. Uh, I can say the same thing about Dirtbag. All of the sculpted details with the fur and everything, you can see great sculpted details in the face. I love the fur kind of sticking off of his ears there, going down his arms. It really does just make him look a lot more detailed than some of the figures in this particular line. And not that anything is like poorly detailed. I think that the cartoon representation has been really, really great here. It's just that everything has that very smooth animated look. And these guys definitely feel like they stand out with this furry sculpt. Um, so this guy looks really, really great as well. Again, paint looks real nice and clean on there. Got that kind of army green shirt with the black heavy outlines. Got the red belt, the red cutoff fingerless gloves there. I love his bright pink backpack, which is, again, really great looking. Got that cell shaded look to it. This is also a softer material and you can actually open it up. Like you could probably fit some of his accessories in there. I mean, it's not a huge backpack, uh, but it does open up, so that is pretty cool. Also love how he's got one boot on and one boot off, uh, which is very cool. Really, really great little detail there. Uh, you can open his mouth as well. Mah! Show his little teeth in there, his mole teeth. Got the miner's hat on with the light and the goggles. Really nice looking figure here. So, articulation on this guy. I already showed you the mouth, but the head moves just like we saw over on ground chuck, mostly just just kind of go side to side little bit of up and down movement but not much shoulders can go outwards forwards backwards swivel at the bicep double joints at the elbows there swivel at the wrist hinge joint at the wrist you do have a ball joint at the waist so you can actually turn side to side as well as rock around we're going to come back to that as well in a second uh ball joints there at the hips so legs can go outwards a bit forwards backwards you got that softer more pliable material like the diaper piece basically um so you can see it kind of stretches and moves with the legs there especially when you bring them forward uh you got double joints at the knees i do love how he's got the torn out knee on the right here Ooh, it's a bit fused on the right though you can see it's not moving too good i'm gonna have to definitely try to loosen that up a bit but you can definitely see double jointed knees there um it doesn't look like we got any swivels in the boot cut you definitely see no swivels on the right leg here but the ankles do move forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side and then you got the tail on the back which does appear to be ball jointed so mostly you can kind of just swivel it around slightly move it in and out so all in all i'd say the articulation is really nice on this guy it feels good and solid 
He gets a good, solid, sturdy base. He stands well and good for posing around. So again, interchangeable hands, just like we saw over there with ground chuck. And it's the same thing. We have two open hands, two closed fists, two gripping hands. Very easy just to pop these hands right out of socket. And that way you can get him to hold on to some of his accessories, uh, like this really wacky blaster of sorts. But you can see he gets a really good grip on it there. So we've got that. Uh, but then we've also got a couple of other fun accessories. Of course, with him being a miner, we have a drill accessory which has got some really nice little details on there. And we've got a shovel, very sharp pointy shovel there, which is very cool. And then we get to one of the most fun accessories, which is this ring of dirt. And if you haven't already seen this yet, check this out. If you actually pull right there on the torso, we can pop this right off the ball joint. Boom, there's that ball joint at the waist. So this guy is meant to be pulled apart like that because now we can take the torso and we can just kind of set it. You can see there's like a little spot in there in the back for his backpack. Look at that. He plugs into this little dirt piece. Uh, and so it looks like he's tunneling out of the ground. What a fun little bonus accessory. I don't know if I'm going to display them like this or if anybody else will, but man, if you're like somebody that takes figure photography and stuff like that, I think that is a really fun bonus accessory for this particular figure. And uh, we can pop it back on the ball joint. You do have to give it a nice firm press. Boom. But it will clip back in place. And there you go. Ground Chuck is ready to be posed once again. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I want to go ahead and show these standing alongside the vintage action figures from Playmates Toys, starting with Dirtbag here, so you can see him standing next to his vintage action figure counterpart. Again, very, very similar in design there, but it's really cool kind of seeing this new animated version standing alongside that classic toy. And then we'll go ahead and stand Ground Chuck alongside his vintage action figure counterpart as well. I always liked that vintage figure quite a bit. That was a fun one. So again, looks great standing these two side by side. And there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Ground Chuck and Dirt Bag from NECA Toys. Honestly, I really like these guys. I feel like these, along with that Wingnut and Screw Loose set, are some of my favorites in this line so far. I don't know. The evolution of this line has been pretty cool to watch. It definitely feels like things have been getting a little better as they've gone. Um, availability has certainly gotten better with these being available on NECA's website, and they shipped immediately, which was so very nice. But also, folks are finding these at Target stores right now so that is good as well love all the extra details with these guys still have some paint rubbing and paint flaking that i'm not a huge fan of but that aside i do think these are very nice looking figures Thank you guys so very much for watching another one of my videos. I'll try to play catch up with Ninja Turtle stuff. I've got a bunch of it. I know a lot of you have been asking so stay tuned to the channel and until next time my friends.